So we had four bills voted on in the House, all fairly controversial. And I just want to run them down and tell you what happened. So the first bill was $26.38 billion from the USA to Israel for their security. Now that passed 366 to 58 in the House. Oh, you know, the House of Representatives basically saying, OK, we understand the Israeli situation. They're our strongest ally in the Middle East. So we are going to allocate um, 26 billion plus. Then comes Ukraine. Now, this is um, yeah, it's the vote was pretty much the same, a little bit less, but it's more controversial. So we're sending $61 billion to Ukraine, mostly weapons, but some humanitarian aid as well. And the far right does not like this, okay? The far left doesn't like the Israeli aid, but I'm going to name them names in a minute. All right, so the far right does not like that expenditure, the $61 billion going to Ukraine. The vote was 311 yes, 112 no. Then there was the Indo-Pacific Security Supplement Appropriations Act, which is basically giving nations close to China some money to develop themselves. It was, it's only $8 billion, okay, but it passed 385 to 34. And the final one was the TikTok bill and uh, sanctions on Iran, uh, freezing assets uh, of Russia. Um, that was 360 to 58. So those are the four bills all passed. All will go to the Senate now. Senate will pass them and then Biden will sign all four. So it's a fait accompli. Now, let's take a look at the Ukraine bill. All right. So the hard right in the House, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Chip Roy, Matt Gates, Andy Biggs, on and on and on. They do not like this expenditure. They believe that the United States should not be funding the Ukrainian war. OK. Now, they're perfectly, that's a position they have the right to take, and the voters of their district will decide. As a historian, I know this is a foolish vote against aid to Ukraine, because it's almost exactly nine, like 1938, when the far right in America didn't want to bother Hitler. Okay? <laughs> so understand that. Far right in 1938 in America want to be isolationists. So what some people don't understand is that America is the world leader. And that's not going to change, no matter if you don't want it or not. Now, I well understand that spending is out of control, which is why we need a balanced budget amendment in Congress. There's no doubt about that. $34 trillion debt, come on. But if you allow Putin to win in Ukraine, and that means control the country, all right, you're going to pay 10 times more than 60 billion the first year, because Putin's just going to cause trouble in all of the former Soviet republics, all of them. He'll just go in, he'll do the same thing, he'll undermine, and then the world will be in economic chaos. Everything is intertwined today. Our economy is good in America right now, okay? Inflation's terrible, thank you, Joe Biden, but the economy is good, people are working. You get wars everywhere, that's going to change fast. And it's going to come to your house. But these hard right people don't seem to understand. Or they disagree with me. OK. OK. So um, that's tolerable. You can disagree with me. But I'm right. <laughs> OK. I know Putin. I know what he wants. He wants to destabilize the whole world and reimpose Russian domination in his former Soviet districts. That's what he wants. What, why is he in Ukraine anyway? Hundreds of thousands of Russians dead? Come on. There's no reason to be there. No benefit to you, you war criminal. All right. So um, that's that. I just have a disagreement with these people. I don't tie it into border security. You're never going to get border security under Joe Biden. No matter what they pass, no matter what executive order, it'll never happen. He's got to go, Biden in order for there to be border security and immigration law enforced. He's not going to do it. All right, Israel. So it's the same crew, the hard right, Biggs, Boebert, Gates, Taylor Green, Roy, same crew. But they're joined by the squad, the far left nuts. 
Okay, Casio Tortez, Omar, Talib, Presley, Bowman, Bush, the same. They just don't like Israel. Okay, they don't like America, and they attach America to Israel and vice versa. So they, they don't want any money going over there. I'm going to use one soundbite. I, I debated on doing this, but I'm going to do it. This is uh, Congresswoman Green. Go. Last Monday was tax day, April 15th. And Washington betrayed the American people by sending $93 billion to support foreign wars while doing nothing, absolutely nothing, to secure our border. That is a complete betrayal. I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. OK, I want border security. You want border security. Not going to happen under Biden. The two are not intertwined. You're not going to blackmail Biden over Ukraine. He's not going to enforce the border, no matter what you do. And again, to alleviate massive problems in the world down the road, you've got to blunt Putin here. Now they say, well, what's the end game? There is no end game. All right. It's a matter of if Trump is reelected. In November, Trump will get Putin to the table. They will make some kind of an agreement, which will probably be Putin keeps some Donbass in some areas. But if Biden wins, Putin will just keep going. That that's pretty much where it is. OK, that's the memo. Everything is expensive these days. You know that the government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.